Good morning, guys, and welcome to today's vlog. I'm Sydney, if you're new here. I'm just pulling up to get some coffee. I've kind of been on a Dunkin' kick these last couple days, so I am pulling up to get a cold brew right now. I already got my workout in this morning, and I am currently about to run into Whole Foods to do some returns for Amazon. Kind of confused, and y'all know I never make returns. Matter of fact, I think this is the first time since I've moved to Florida that I've even made returns, but I bought a million curtains because I'm clueless when it comes to curtains. I don't know what looks good. I don't know what length to do. So I have bought, I think I literally have like 30 different curtain sets in the back of my, in the back seat right now. So I need to return them and y'all know I suck at returns. But when it said that Whole Foods has like an Amazon drop off, I'm like kind of confused on how that works, but about to stop there. There's a Dunkin' right next to it. So I was like, I'll stop and I'll get myself a coffee. Ooh, they have they have the pumpkin back. Hi, I'm gonna do a medium cold brew with light oat milk. That will be it. Um, I'm gonna be with my sister today. Today's only Tuesday, I think. Yeah, Tuesday. So, um, oh, tomorrow I am on Gretchen's podcast, which. That is a freaking pinch me moment because she's my favorite YouTuber, has been my favorite YouTuber before I even, since before I even started my own YouTube channel. So that's freaking awesome. And then we're just gonna see what we're up to in the next couple days. But I figured I would start vlogging. But I am going into Whole Foods. I'm gonna do these returns and I will see y'all in a little bit. I think I'm actually gonna do some work in there. Uh, as well since there's like a little lounge area. I brought my laptop and everything knock out some work and Cut you in a little bit Just got home and I actually got a couple packages that I just grabbed from like my little locker thing down there I got another pair of the local European uh, Parachute pants. I wore these in my oh don't mind my nails by the way if I have one nail fall off I literally pry every single nail off. It's a problem of mine uh, But I am going to get gel extensions. I think tomorrow. Wait, what are they called gel X? Extensions instead of acrylic this time around um, But yeah, so my nails are looking like this for the next day uh, I wore my white parachute pants in my last vlog and I was like, I think this might be a new thing of mine and I needed the green ones as well. I think they're just like so easy to throw on with like a tank and I love them, but I get the extra small small and they fit me like a little bit oversized. So I definitely would do your true to size. Um, don't size up on those if you want the oversized look because they're already oversized. And then I also got... This is a pillowcase for this giant body pillow. I put it back here just so I could see what it looks like when my bed is made. But I think that this is gonna look really good. Um, I just got a white pillowcase. I know it's a lot of white, but I think that I'm going to get like a throw blanket that will look really good and kind of give this some texture. want it in the back or in the front. I feel like I might need it in the back. I think I might like it better in the back. I don't know. I'm going to mess around with it a little bit and maybe do some like layering for some different pillows. But as of right now, this is what we're working with. I just kind of wanted more of like a fuller look. Um, and then, you know, it's a constant battle. Like this bed is constantly a battle for me because I used to have two duvet inserts inside of this duvet cover. Now I just have one. I, I'm just, I'm constantly tweaking this bed and it's never exactly how I want it. So I'm gonna mess around with that pillow, but I do love it. Just made a little snack pack. I did cucumber scrapes and then some almonds and I did everything but the bagel seasoning on both of these. And then I'm gonna bring my water and an Olipop before I head out the door. Got my bag all packed with my laptop and everything. And we are ready. Got my new sunglasses on. So, 
headed out the door. I think I'm gonna throw my hair up in a claw clip as well. I just can't stand having my hair down for some reason. I prefer to have it in a bun or in a little claw clip. I'm trying not to do the slick back buns as much because I know it's not really great on your hair, but I just love it. I love it. I'm gonna throw a claw clip in and then we will head on out. We just had coffee for a couple hours, knocked out some work. We just camp ourselves out. <laughs> you know what's exciting though is that soon we're only gonna be living a couple minutes apart. Yes. So then we Thank can goodness. just then we can just come to your house. Yeah, we don't have to meet in the middle. Yeah, right, I know. We always have to like pack our lunches, pack an overnight bag basically to go out <laughs> meet each other, but all right, well, just had to show the vlog that we spent time together. <laughs> all right, I just got home, so I'm making some lunch. I'm kind of making like a random, and it's really late, it's already 3.20, but kind of making like a random bowl and I'm going to have it with some of these Siete tortilla chips. But right now I just have ground turkey going on the stove top and then some cauliflower rice in the microwave. Let me mash this up a little bit. But what I do for my ground turkey is, especially for taco bowls, so I use this Siete taco seasoning right here and I don't do a ton of it, but I do this and then I add a little bit of water in there and I am chopping up some peppers right now. I have these little mini bell peppers, or sweet peppers, I guess. And I got this new cutting board from William Sonoma, which I have never gotten a real cutting board. I've been using this like cute one right here, but I heard that you should be using something that's softer than your knives. So I heard that this is bad for your knives to use this like marble one. But I'm gonna air fry these peppers and also some corn, which I don't know, I've never really added corn into a bowl that I've made at home, but I always love having corn in my like taco bowls. So a good thing to add to this would be like, if you wanna do black beans in there, if you wanna do tomatoes, I think I'm gonna chop up a tomato as well. Air fry that, I was gonna do mushrooms, but I feel like that's kind of a random combination. And then have it with a little bit of um, cauliflower rice and also the sea salt tortilla chips. So I'm going to throw this all together and I'll show you the final product. Here's my finished product. Super random, honestly, for the tomatoes, corn, cauliflower, rice, and then we're just gonna eat it with some tortilla chips. I was going to do sweet potatoes with this and air fry my sweet potatoes, but I think I'm gonna do that with dinner tonight. So here's my easy little bowl. And this one would be an easy one to meal prep as well, because you could just get those little containers of corn, which I got those from Publix, I think, but they're just like these little sweet corn already pre-packed containers. Then I did avocado, everything but the bagel seasoning, and voila. going through all of my stuff in my closet and all of my drawers and I just made this big bag. Uh, it's like a giant aloe bag of stuff that I want to get rid of and I want to list on Poshmark probably. It's like a bunch of my Lululemon stuff but basically what I did was I went through all my leggings and if you guys remember at my old place I had two whole drawers this size full of leggings that were folded just like this. I had an unbelievable amount of leggings and I realized I literally don't even wear a bunch of them. Like I love, these ones have never even, I think I've worn these once and I personally just never wear them. I feel like I have like this mentality that like if they're brand new and they haven't been worn that I can't get rid of them. I'm just like not a pattern girly. I end up going for my black, my navy, and like I love this color right here. I think it's red merlot and like cassis that I really like. So then I also took my tank tops and I put some of my ones that I don't wear that much down in this drawer 
but I still feel like I wear these every once in a while. I just don't think they need to be hung up in the closet because they take up so much room. So yeah, that's the project for tonight. So far I have a whole trash bin of stuff or a whole trash bag of stuff that I'm getting rid of. And then now this is like mostly Lululemon and a little bit of aloe yoga stuff that I actually want to Poshmark. Like the other, like the trash bag's just gonna go to Goodwill or go to um, a donation center. And then this, I can start taking some photos and posting on Poshmark. I am just making some dinner right now. I'm doing sweet potatoes. Shocker, I know. She's in her sweet potato era. And then I'm also going to add some green beans once I get these a little bit crispy. Since these were frozen, I obviously wanted to start them first. But, Making dinner right now, and I'm just going to have that with my ground turkey that I had left over from lunch tomorrow. And then I think I'm just gonna wind down. I'm gonna do some laundry. I'm going to kind of just like tidy up and whatnot in here. It's pretty clean, but I feel like after just like organizing my closet and whatnot, it's a mess in my room and closet. So I'm gonna tidy up and just kind of plan out my day for tomorrow. I have a pretty busy day. So I have my podcast with Gretchen, which I'm very, very nervous about, but also so flipping excited. And um, then I have a normal work day and I'm getting new office stuff, which is super exciting. The only thing is tonight, I still need to clean out my extra bedroom. Good morning, guys. It is Wednesday morning now. Happy Wednesday. I am just about to make some breakfast right now and kind of get my morning started. It's a little bit different of a morning than it typically is just because I am doing the podcast. So I need to get on a call with Gretchen at nine. So instead of working out early this morning, I'm going to work out a little bit later on. Um, I've just been doing a little bit of... Uh, of computer work this morning which I try not to do first thing in the morning but since my morning's all wonky and I'm gonna make breakfast I'm still in my pajamas breakfast and coffee and I haven't even made my bed or anything so um, we'll slowly get this morning started but I am just gonna throw on I typically will do Red Rocks worship or Maverick City music on my just get my day started. So I'm pretty much just making my typical breakfast, which is coffee, toast, and eggs. <laughs> Just do egg whites with everything but the bagel seasoning. And then I do that over spinach and arugula. And I add a tomato slice if I have it. I don't know if I have any more tomato slices. All right, here's a question for y'all. Do you guys, I've got you propped up on a candle, so you're kind of low. Do you guys like ketchup with your eggs or am I crazy? I used to think that that was such a gross combination when I saw other people do it back in the day, but I don't like hot sauce and a lot of people like hot sauce on their eggs. So I started putting ketchup a while back on my eggs and I'll never go back. I'll never go back. So I want to hear if you guys think that that's like a gross combination or if you guys prefer like Cholula or whatever on your eggs. I don't know. I like some ketchup on my egg whites. Without it, it seems like so plain. I just put a little bit of ketchup and I use this um, Primal Kitchen organic ketchup and drizzle that on there. Doesn't look pretty, but tastes pretty. And then I'm going to make some coffee first, and then we'll sit down and have some breakfast. Feels nice having like a slow little breakfast before I've even had my day started. Hardly ever get to have my breakfast in my pajamas. Normally I'm like coming home from the gym and I'm absolutely starving to the point that I'm like hangry. So it's kind of nice like slowly preparing my breakfast rather than scrounging everything up as fast as I can so that I don't um, throw a, a hanger fit. <laughs> Okay, here's what I've been doing with my coffee lately. So, I'm going to do some almond milk. I do almond milk or oat milk, and I love this brand, Milk. But I poured that in first. And then I'm going to milk froth that quite a lot because I like it really, really frothy. And then I'm going to add ice and this um, Starbucks iced coffee. And I like the medium roast unsweetened. 
but I also have tried this. I don't have any maple syrup right now, but I also have tried this where you put a little bit of maple syrup in this when you are whisking it. So I think that I'm going to do a little bit of cinnamon and a little bit of honey. I think that that will be a good little combination. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of honey in there and then some cinnamon, and I like kind of a lot of cinnamon, so pour that in and whisk that. If you don't have a milk frother, honestly, go get one. Coffee and like all, everything's so much better with a milk frother, and if you make um, matcha at home, you absolutely need a milk frother because matcha only tastes good to me with like frothed oat milk. And then you pour that over. All right, taste test. Yum, oh my gosh, that tastes so freaking good. Just stunning, stunning. Well, the ketchup kind of makes it ugly a little bit, but with my yummy coffee, oh, I'm so excited to sit down and enjoy my breakfast. Also, I know they say to like not watch shows while you are eating, but I personally love watching YouTube, so I just throw on a YouTube video either on my iPad or on my phone while I eat, and that's what I prefer to do, honestly. <laughs> I feel like I have a YouTube video on no matter what I'm doing, whether I'm showering, getting ready, working out, whatever. YouTube is like my go-to. <laughs> all right, I'm all finished with breakfast. So, still got my coffee left to drink. Um, I wanted to show you guys a couple different things. So first off, I got this essential oil diffuser. Uh, yesterday it came in, so last night I used it and I used this Relax Essential Oil Blend. And it has lavender in it and it was, Amazing. I started it before I was like getting ready for bed and everything and when I got into bed It literally felt like it was a spa. It was it was fabulous and I had the best night's sleep last night um, And I also got new sheets in yesterday, which thank you so much Brooke Linen for sponsoring today's video and Y'all know I love Brooke Linen. Y'all know I've been using their sheets. That's what this um, comforter or this duvet cover is is from and I've had the white core sheet set and now I got the Lux set. So I got these cute grid line ones, which I always just have white sheets. So I'm excited about that. But I honestly, I love Brooklinen. I just got in some more towels as well. I've been using Brooklinen for gosh, a couple years now probably because I went during college, I went and visited my mom and she had like the nicest towels and I was like, where did you get these towels? They literally feel like I'm at a resort right now and like a spa resort type feel. I don't know. And she was like, I got them from Brooklinen. So of course at that age, I didn't realize like how much of a difference nice sheets and nice towels make, but I will never go back. I will never go back. And I've had towels for quite some time, but I just got some more and they're all I have. I only have Brooklyn and towels, but they are like the most amazing towels. And these are the super plush towels. You can just see how freaking amazing they are. You can use code SYDNEY for $20 off of 100 on brooklinen.com and it is, I'm telling you, it is a game changer having nice sheets. Once you get older and you realize that you want to invest in things like that, these are like the most luxury feel sheets but they're for a lot more of affordable price than what you typically would pay for very, very nice sheets. And then also, I ended up buying a really nice duvet cover, or what I thought was gonna be really nice, and I paid like three times the amount that I paid for this one, and I keep going back to the Brooklinen one. So I, I love this one, it's so comfy, and these sheets actually get comfier the more you wash them, and if you know me, you know I wash my sheets literally every single week, and the um, these are the pillowcases from my white set, but I already had a core white set of sheets and then I got the Lux ones in this grid line. I just thought that it looked probably better with just the white pillows and not too much with the grid line, but so stinking cute. 
But I'm gonna throw these towels in my bathroom now. And yeah, I just wanted to show you guys a couple things, including my brand new sheets, because there's nothing better than sleeping on a brand new pair of comfy sheets. And I love these grid lines. I wasn't sure what I was gonna think about switching it up from just all white. I think it gives it a little bit of texture we've got going on here. This is as, this is as crazy as we get over here in this household. <laughs> But thanks again, Brooklinen, for sponsoring today's video. I have recommended Brooklinen far before I even worked with them. And I, anytime anyone comes over, they're like, I absolutely love these towels. They, like, if they had to take a shower here, they're like, I absolutely love these towels. I'm like, Brooklinen. And then um, my sister, she always comes over and spends the night, and she's like, these sheets are so good. I'm like, aren't they? You need them. <laughs> you absolutely need them. So yeah, new sheets. I'm just gonna finish making my bed, put away these towels, and get ready for the day. I have about 15 minutes or so before I get on Zoom. Um, I just threw on pretty much what I'm gonna wear for my workout, so I just have a sports bra on. And this is actually Jeannie, which is my best friend, Jeannie, back in Alabama. She um, gave me this as a hand-me-down forever ago, but it's a Joa Brown. I don't know if they even still have it anymore. Joa Brown sports bra and it's just the comfiest thing ever. And then this scuba full zip from Lululemon. I have my Align shorts on and currently have my slippers on, but of course I'll throw on a pair of sneakers when I go work out. I'm really excited for this. I'm nervous if you can't tell. I'm very nervous just because I feel like I could talk to a wall. Honestly, I feel like I can talk to anyone, but I've never been on a podcast before. So like, I don't know. I feel like I'm just a, a smidge nervous about that. Um, but I will see you guys after I get done with this and get ready for the gym. Okay, it's been a little bit and I just got off the podcast with Gretchen. I think that I could have talked to her for 10 hours and I think that I worked myself up for no good reason, which I tend to do this. I like get nervous about things and I psych myself out before it even comes and then I end up realizing like, okay, that was not even worth worrying about. But that was that was so good. I'm so excited for you guys to listen. I think that it's going to be on next Friday. So today is Wednesday, not this upcoming Friday, but then the next Friday. And I'll make sure to link her podcast so that you guys can listen. And you should just listen to her podcast, even the one that's not um, my episode with her. But regardless, that was so good. And I'm headed to the gym right now. So I'm going to go get a little workout in. And it feels really weird working out in the middle of the day. But I'm headed to go work out. And then I will go home and make some lunch after. Get my day going. And I have the delivery for my office furniture. And last night I was supposed to clean everything out of that second room to make sure that it was good for um, the office furniture to go in. And I definitely did not clean out any of that. So that was... That was good. Making lunch right now, and I did ahi tuna steaks, avocado, spring mix, carrots, cucumbers, and then I have cauliflower rice that I will do coconut aminos on on the side. And then I'm actually doing, since I was eating them separate anyways, I'm actually doing, there's my cauliflower rice, but I'm actually doing my sweet potatoes separate. So I have those go in the air fryer while I eat this have like, this is my first course of my meal. And then I'm gonna have these almost as like a sweet treat at the end because I'm gonna do some almond butter and then some cinnamon, maybe even a little bit of honey on there because I really like having sweet potatoes like almost more of like a, like a sweet rather than savory with this meal. Okay, don't knock it till you try it with the sweet potatoes, but I'm just doing it almost as like dipping it in or like putting some of this on the sweet potatoes but it's just almond butter honey and a little bit of cinnamon well we cleared out this whole part over here of this room to have my desk go they come and all they have is the desk chair so so that's good <laughs> jay said to the delivery guys i think we have a desk coming here too and they're like nope no desk <laughs> so yeah for now but this is super cute yeah. <laughs> two guys put together one. I know, two delivery guys. I'm like, oh, I'm sure to be giving you a desk right now. Oh, wow, yeah, this is... Pretty nice, huh? So, my desk says that it's ready to schedule, but won't let me schedule. And the other one says out for delivery, which I suppose is this. 
So I need to go into Crate and Barrel. Go in there and she's gonna raise. Hell. I am not. Hey, y'all deliver my chair. And not my desk. And not my desk. Yeah, that's not what I need to do. I need to speak to the manager. Does that sound like something I'd say? No. Absolutely I, I, not. I've seen you pretty fired up. About what? Y'all don't know. <laughs> I've seen that little miss fired up. Oh, okay. Well, not over desk. We'll get the desk. It will be here before we know it. But I am bummed. Ah. Regardless, this is super cute. So I think it's going to look really good once I have my desk here. And I'm going to go figure out what the situation is with that. I feel like nothing's easy with furniture anymore. On the bright side, I did get an aura ring in, which I've heard a couple different people that I follow use the aura ring, and I'm like, I'm tempted. I'm tempted to give this a shot. Honestly, like, I've never been able to sleep in my Apple Watch, so I've never been able to record, like, my sleep and everything. I feel like it's just so uncomfy, and my Apple Watch dies too quickly for all that. So, I got an aura ring, and I'm really excited to try it. I don't really know anything about it right now, so I need to figure out like how you even charge it and all of that. I don't know. Like how would this charge this? I don't know. I gotta, oh, here we go. Here's the little charger thing for it. I'm gonna mess around with this so that I can use this tonight to sleep, to track my sleep. But, pretty nifty, pretty nifty. next morning and I slept in my aura ring last night which I'm super excited about and also my face looks kind of crazy because I did self tan last night but um and I did tanning drops even on my face I'm looking very bronze this morning but my sleep efficiency 91% pretty freaking good I'd say and then it says that I slept for seven hours let me just show you and it tells you um, your restfulness, your REM sleep, which I think I was really low on REM sleep because I only had an hour and three minutes of that. But how cool. And then it tells you like throughout the night. I don't know. I'm excited. I'm excited to see this. I don't really know what to compare it to right now, obviously. And then this morning I am just about to go do, I'm going to do back and biceps this morning. This is actually a tank that I have. I think it's like the Ebda Street tank maybe. Is that what this is? I'm just straight tank high, high neck or something, but then I just folded it under to be almost like a sports bra. And they actually match perfectly because it's not like navy, it's like a royal blue type look. And then I'm just gonna wear my APL sneakers for my workout today. I'm actually also doing a spin class, so I'm not gonna do any cardio this morning in my workout. I'm just gonna leave and then go to my 9.30 spin because I wanted to take another spin class this week. Get ready, take my pre-workout and everything and head for a back workout. I love these leggings though. They feel like they um, are gonna stay up really well because they have like this little drawstring, but then they also like feel like they have that sweat wicking material like um, Wonder Trains. Woo woo, workout time. Ooh. One full banana, one, one scoop of pre, shout out one up. Shout out one up, I do half scoop pre-workout. My horror ring said lay off the caffeine girl. Did it really? Yeah. It says that's why my REM sleep, probably. Well how much do you, did you have a coffee yesterday too? Oh I had two coffees <laughs> and pre-workout yesterday. Yeah listen to that ring. Yeah. That ring's telling me girl you got I didn't yeah, some did. too. Really? Where at? When did you go to get coffee without me? When you were doing your podcast. Wow. Where'd you go? Starbucks? I cleaned my car, got a coffee. Look how cool. We could do that thing. Oh my gosh. Let's walk out here and see what this camera's got. Dude. Stunning. Good. So silly. Look at the plane. Oh. Wow, that's a good way to wake up, right? Last night, Jay was like, 
Let's put it up there for the storm. And I actually, do, whoa, this is gonna be cool. Is that one better? Yeah, we. It's a little darker though, you think? That is gonna be so cool. Yeah. How's your workout? Hungry man. Who's hungry. Man? I'm hungry too. All right, let's go eat. <laughs> right now my GPS says that I'm getting there with four minutes to spare and I honestly can say I don't really care that much when other people are a little bit late but my own pet peeve is where my pet peeve is when I'm late and like something causes me to be late I have like a really fun Thursday I feel like because um, or at least fun for me. I'm getting my nails done today, and I've never gotten Gel X before, but I'm getting Gel X nails, and I think that it's supposed to be a little bit more gentle on your nails, I think, and so I have an appointment later on, and it's that really cute nail salon that I went to for a pedicure not too long ago, and it's called The Minimalist, so I have that. I think that my curtains come in today, and I already got my curtain rods hung up, Jason hung up my curtain rods, so I need to put my curtains up, and I think that's gonna make the apartment feel so much more homey. So that's exciting. And then I just have like some vlogs to edit, which I love doing that. Also, I was like half asleep when I was talking this morning before my workout, but I do wanna hear if any of you guys have the Aura Ring, like what you guys think about it, because I don't think I know that many people who have the Aura Ring or who have like talked about it that much. Um, I know that like Kylie Ross has talked about it and then I think um, JC has talked about it and both of them have kind of like mentioned it on their vlogs or on their Instagram stories or something but um, I don't really know like I don't think that JC wears an Apple watch um, and I think that Kylie does wear an Apple watch so I think Kylie was saying that she like connects her Apple watch and that helps track her activity but then JC was saying like it tracks her steps but doesn't really track her workouts that much so I'm interested to know like do you guys think your aura ring is worth it I'm still trying I'll figure out for myself and I'll keep you guys updated um I'm sure my camera's all over the place right now but yeah I'm gonna stop um rambling and I will talk to you guys in a little bit all right, I'm headed to go to a coffee shop and then I'm gonna go get my nails done while I'm out. So, still learning how to work this camera. I'm zooming all over the place. Here's my outfit and I'm wearing my new local European pants. I wore them in white the other day and then these are the new green ones that I showed you guys. And then this is my Skims tank top. It's like the ribbed tank. And then I have my cute purse. And Chaka, I'm wearing my easy slides. So, headed out and I think that I'm gonna bring a couple snacks with me because I'll probably be out for a little bit. And I tried to get in earlier for my nail appointment but they don't have anything earlier than one. So I figured since it's only 11, I can just work at a coffee shop 
down there near that nail appointment or that nail salon for a little bit. So that's where I'm headed. Just Sydney things, the most random bowl ever. We've got corn pico, actually doing a little salsa today, and then have some cucumbers, carrots, tuna, cauliflower rice, spring mix, and here's the real question. Do y'all like seaweed, or are you a weirdo like Mr. J over here? Have you actually tried it before? Yeah, it's gross. Where, who, where'd you try seaweed? I tried it like a year ago. And you thought it was gross? Was it sea salt? No, it wasn't. You do not remember if it was sea salt or not. You don't want to try it? Oh. As a dessert? As a yummy dessert. Well, I like it. It tastes really good with white rice and salmon and avocado. You would like it with that, I bet. Maybe a little hot sauce. Franks. I think I'm a Gel X girly now. I think I am. I would be very surprised if I got acrylics again after that because that was way better. Like not using the tools and stuff. So that's like a fume free um, nail salon, which is really nice so that they don't like shave your nails down and my nails are like paper thin. So I got on um, bubble bath this time and the reason was because they didn't have funny bunny, but I actually am really happy with the fact that I got bubble bath. So I'm fine with it. But Regardless, I think I'm gonna end off today's vlog. I just wanted to make sure that I could show you guys my new nails before closing this vlog off. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed these last few days of my life. Thanks so much for watching, and I love y'all, I adore y'all, and I'll see you in my next vlog.